Okay. So find the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of each of the given polygons. Okay. So for example, we have here uh, the measure of each angle in equat equilateral. So remember, ang equilateral, equiangular din siya. Ibig sabihin, parehas din ang uh, measure nitong tatlo ng angle na to. Uh, so, the equilateral sila, equiangular din. So, that means, pareho ang total na measure nitong tatlong angle. No? So, for example, we're looking for angle 1. No? So, ito, ito yung mga exterior angles natin. No? Angle 1 and angle 3. 1, 2, 3 is the, uh, it are the exterior. So, we have the solution. Measure angle 1 plus measure angle A is equal to 180 degrees. Now, measure angle 1 plus 60. So, assume natin 60 to kasi equilateral or angular. So, 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Therefore, measure angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 60 or that is equal to 120. So, 60 plus, uh, 60 plus 120 is 180. Okay, so we have there another example. Find the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of each of the given regular polygons. Okay, so we have here a square. No? So, alam natin ang square is a regular polygon with four equal, no, meron siyang equal triangles or angle assignment and then syempre equal din na ito we have the exterior angles yan okay so we have the solution if measure angle 1 plus the measure of angle A is equal to 180 degrees so that is measure angle 1 plus 90 is equal to 180 Therefore, we can say that measure angle 1 is 180 minus 90 or 90 degrees yung measure angle 1. So, remember pareho sila, no? 90 plus 90 is 180. So, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon does not depend on the number of sides of the polygon. Okay? Next, we have another example. Example 6, find the value of x. So, set the sum of the measures of the exterior angles equals to 360. Therefore, x plus 2x plus 86 plus 100 is equal to 360. So, we have 3x plus 186 equals to 360. 3x is equal to 360 minus 186. 3x is equal to 174 divided by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 58. Now, kung ang x mo ay 58, so this is 58 degrees, na? ano ngayon yung 2x? So, 2x is equals to 58 times, or 2 times 58, no? So, that is equals to 8 times 2, 16, 2 times 5, 10 plus 1, 11. So, 116 po ito. Huh? Okay? So, that's it. Before I go, remember to subscribe. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. And like. Leave a comment. Whatever you know. Then subscribe. For. Please follow me on Facebook. Instagram. Remember, 
the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. From Walt Disney. Bye-bye! And make a love shout out to the newly uh, members or nag-renew ng members, Teacher Head Channel and Pinay Australia TV. Thank you very much. I love you all.